Just a step, cried the sad man. Take a look down at the madman. Theater kings on, silver wings fly beyond reason. From the flight of the seagull come the spread claws of the. Hey, YouTubers and Life Nuts, New Jersey Devil Tactical, bringing you another unboxing and first impression video. Let's see, tonight we'll be looking at. We'll find out. Yeah, I got you, didn't I? All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, let's open this sucker up. Got this in today also with a bunch of other knives. Let's see what's going on here. I mean, you got to pull it out of the way here to open this sucker. All right, this is what we got here. Looks like a couple bucks. Alright. Alright, the first one here we'll look at is the product number BU389T. Let me make some more room here. Okay, this is the tortoise shell buck. Oh, this is nice. Slip joint. Nice and tight. I like that, guys, huh? That's pretty, isn't it? Friggin' pretty. He's not like a good pocket slip joint knife, is there? Get that out of the way. Alright. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this thing. Um, the closed length on this thing is about three and a half inches. The blades are 428C stainless steel spear and pen. The bolsters are nickel silver. The inlay is the Buck Original Shield nickel silver. And it is made in China. Which sucks. It says made in USA, but it's fucking made in China, huh? Ain't that some shit? That's a sweet little slip joint, man. I like Buck knife. Let me see how sharp this thing is. Let me get a piece of paper, guys. Hold on. All right. Hold on. I'm coming. <coughs> if it's a buck, I know it's fucking sharp. There you go. Sharp as hell, right out of the box. Let's try the other blade. Also sharp as hell right out of the box. Yeah, this is nice, man. Got your nail necks in both blades there. Wow. Silver colored bolster, nickel covered bolsters, man. I like the nickel covered bolsters, man. That is sweet. And if we call for inlay there. Yeah, that is sharp, man. These are nice because you can throw them in your pocket as a secondary blade. You forget all about it's in there. No blade play on either one of the blades, man. I love that. That is so fucking cool. Alright. I'll lay this one here. And we'll look at the other one. The other one is um, BU389Y. See what we got going on here. 
All right, let me get this box out of the way, people. I don't want to get my paperwork mixed up. All right. Okay, this is this is the same thing, but with the synthetic handles. Yeah, the yellow and synthetic handles. Is that sweet, guys? That's fucking beautiful. Love bucks, man. Love them. Specifications are the same on this also. So, um, if you heard them from the first one, you're hearing from the second one. Same thing. Let's see how sharp the blades are on this one. Like always, fucking rays are sharp. Even the slip joints are sharp, man. Fucking company knows how to sharpen a knife. This one here might need a little bit of work. Oh no, it's how I had the paper. Sharp too. Yeah, man, that is nice. You guys have any of these? Let me know. Let me know how yours is working out for you. You know, I have a, quite a few slip joint knives. I enjoy the hell out of them, man. You know, they're good going to church on Sunday nights, you know. Going bowling or something like that. You put one in your pocket, man. You don't have to worry about your arm hitting it when you're throwing the ball. You know, you, you know your sheath or anything. These are nice, man. Truly nice. Alright, guys. So you got to see a couple slip joints. You know, I will give these a full review after I use them for a little while. And I will get back to you on these. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep coming back. I'll have a few more tonight. And um, let me check out those also. All right, so if you guys have any comments or questions on these slip joint, these bucks, you know, these bucks canoes, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you're looking for a good, reliable slip joint knife, man, go with a buck. You can't go wrong. I mean, they heat treat that 428C just right. The edge stays on there for a long time. Can't go wrong with a buck. All right, so... uh you know, as I always say, guys, stay scary sharp, and I'll catch you on the next review, on the next unboxing, or the next gear review. All right, guys, out of here, New Jersey Devil, out of here. See you. Bye. Just a step, cry the sad man, take a look down at the madman.